Hi everyone! Thank you so much for tuning into my channel today. I am going to be showing you some of the awesome stuff that I got at thrift stores in the past few days. If you're new to my channel and we haven't met yet, my name is Laura. I sell clothes online on Poshmark, eBay, and Mercari for a profit, mostly things that I find at thrift stores. <laughs> I am officially full-time so a little bit of an update for anyone who has watched my channel previously before now I have been part-time doing this on the side just sort of as a fun like way to make extra money but recently I came into some good fortune and I can't really get too much into it because I just don't know like legally how much I'm allowed to say um, but Basically, I got a really good offer from my job to leave and maintain a paycheck. I guess that's all I can say about that, but I decided to take the offer and I am now officially full-time in my business. So I'm going to be doing both Poshmark, like reselling, not just Poshmark, um, reselling, um, focusing a lot on ramping that up, but I'm also starting a freelance writing business, which I'm very excited about. And if you guys are interested in hearing about what's going on with that, let me know in the comments below. And I'm happy to make some content about that too. But if you're not already, follow me on Instagram because I do share a lot more about my day-to-day -day life on Instagram. I will be posting a lot more just generally about what it's like to be a full-time entrepreneur, the roadblocks that I run into, the wins that I have on a day-to-day -day basis, and I just kind of keep you updated. So follow me over there if you're not already. I will put my um, profile up here so you can check it out. And other than that, let's just get started and get right into it. So I went thrifting for the first time since lockdown. Um, today's Saturday, I went Thursday and Friday, and I went to five different thrift stores in two days. I went to three on Thursday and two on Friday. And um, two Goodwills, two Salvation Armies, and one Sabres. Um, if you're not regional, I, I live in Boston, Massachusetts. If you're not from this area, you might not have heard of Sabres before. Um, I am originally from New Jersey, and I had never heard of Sabres until I moved here. So um, basically, it's a discount clothing store. It's, it's a thrift store. Um, people donate things. I don't really know what the proceeds go to. Like with Goodwill and Salvation Army, you kind of know where, where the proceeds of the clothes go to, but I don't know where the proceeds go for Savers. I think they choose a different charity every month or something. But anyway, I went to five different stores and I got a lot of stuff. So I don't want to make this intro too long. I just want to jump right into it and get started. So when I went into um, the thrift, I was planning on focusing on fall, which is why my makeup is orange today. If you can see, um, I am such a fall person. Fall is my favorite season. It just makes me happy, everything about it. I love summer, don't get me wrong, and I am not rushing to fall because after fall is winter, which is my least favorite season. But I just love fall fashion and I love dressing for fall. I love the crisp feeling in the air. I love the feeling of new beginnings. I'm a pretty recent graduate. I graduated from college just two years ago, so I'm still used to the cycle of September being like the beginning of the school year and everything's exciting and you get like fresh notebooks and I just love fall and I love fall fashion. I love boots. My mother is a lovely woman and she has instilled in me such a love of shoes, especially boots. I love jackets. Jackets just like a nice jacket can just like bring your look to the next level. And so I am totally switching gears in my Poshmark business. I say Poshmark, but I mean reselling business to um, fall right now. I am moving away from summer. Summer fashion is probably my least favorite because it's just basic. Like you're hot, so you just want to wear shorts and a tank top and it's cute, but it's not like, wow, what an outfit. Whereas fall can just be like wow you look fabulous and then winter you're like I'm too cold to look fabulous so I just love fall I don't know how many times I can say that but um so I'm switching gears and I went into this thrift trip with the intention of getting boots dresses and jeans because I think that those three categories are good categories to focus on in your business if you're not already because if you think about it like 
the things that you want to spend more money on are things that are going to be staples in your wardrobe. If you're going to splurge on something, you're probably not going to splurge on a t-shirt, right? Like you're not going to spend or a blouse. Like it's not really that exciting and it's not something that you're going to really want to splurge and spend a lot of money on. But a nice pair of boots or a really nice jacket or a nice silk dress or a pair of designer jeans, those are things that will last you and that you're willing to spend more money on. So I am really focusing on those categories in my business. Tops have not historically done very well for me and I'm trying to move away from those a little bit. So I went into the thrift store with those things in mind. Also sweaters, I do like sweaters too. And I do get some sweaters. Um, so yeah, this is mostly fall fashion, but there are a couple summery things and we're just gonna get started because I talk too much, but I'm excited. It's been a while since I filmed a video and I'm excited to be back and let's do it. I'm gonna save shoes for last so that you stick around because you're not gonna wanna miss the shoes. I have one, two, three, four, five, six pairs of boots. I got so lucky, you guys. Six pairs of gorgeous boots. So you're not gonna wanna miss those. Those are gonna be at the end. I think I'll start with pants because they're closest to me <laughs> and um, we'll go from there. This is the first thing I'm gonna show you guys. Wrong way. <laughs> These are just a pair of Athleta. Is it Athleta or Athleta? I feel like people say it both ways, but Athleta, um, also quick disclaimer, none of this stuff has been steamed. None of the tags have been removed. Well, mostly the tags haven't been removed. I'm just showing you guys the stuff straight out of the bag, um, before, cause once I steam it, I want to photograph it right away. So, um, so if it's wrinkly or anything like that, I apologize, but this is the first thing. So it's just this really nice pair of Athleta or Athleta pants. They're kind of like, I looked at it up and I found the title name, title of these pants, but I can't remember. I think it was like the kick flare yoga pant or kick something yoga pant because they kind of like flare out at the bottom and they have these really cute slits on both sides in the um, like facing in on the pant, which I think is really unique. They have kind of these exposed seams on the back and a really nice um, ribbed texture on the waist. I want to say these are high-waisted. I haven't measured them yet, but they look pretty high-waisted to me. Um, if you are unfamiliar with the... Let me take this off the hanger. That would be easier to show things on a hanger, but maybe it's not. This is the tag. It's just printed on. One way that you can really tell if, um, especially athletic wear, hasn't been worn a lot is if the label is printed on and it's perfect, like pristine, like this one, you can tell these haven't been worn a lot. These look brand new. The other way you can tell is by looking at the seam, like the crotch, seeing if there's any pilling there, if there isn't any. Um, and these just feel really well made. They are summer 2019 style. Um, if you didn't know, if you find the tag on a lot of items, it'll show you like, I don't know if that's focusing, but it'll show you like SU 19 is summer 19. So these are 2019 styles. So these are a newer style. Um, I really like selling Athleta. It has sold well for me historically, especially if it's in good condition and, um, you can get pretty good money for it. I didn't even look up comps for this in the thrift store because I just could tell by the condition and the fact that it's summer 19 style that it was something I wanted to pick up. I really like Athleta. I love activewear. It's another one of my favorite categories to sell. Um, so I didn't focus on activewear on the, these trips though, I will say. I did browse, but I, didn't, I guess I didn't find anything. This is the only other pair of activewear pants that I got. Um, so these are these really cute joggers. They have like the banded cuffs and they're kind of like a grayish brown color with white um, along the edges and along the top. And then I love that they have this pop of color um, of the orange drawstrings. They do have pockets. Um, actually, they have two pockets, which I didn't notice before. There's like an inner, a smaller inner pocket, which is cool. Um, 
And these are Under Armour, which isn't a brand that I normally get. Like it's definitely not a brand I pick up all the time. This is the Under Armour logo, if you have not seen it before. Um, and they're a size small. And I got these because they're in perfect condition. They look brand new. Seriously, they look never worn. Super comfy. Um, casual loungewear has still been doing really well for me. And I think that will continue into the fall. And the other reason I got it was because this is a 2019 style as well. I checked the tag and it's 2019. So again, a really current piece. I'm sure I'll be able to find the um, stock photo for it and it just feels well made. It feels nice. I just think they're really cute um, joggers. These are a size small, if I didn't mention that. Okay, so now I'm gonna get into jeans. I told you I was focusing on jeans on this trip and I found a lot of jeans. I think like seven pairs. Okay, so the first pair is by the brand Hillcrow and the Letterpress. If you are not familiar with this brand, it is an anthropology in-house brand, I'm pretty sure. That's what the label looks like. It says Pilcrow and the Letterpress and the, and the Letterpress part is like stitched over. That's just part of their brand identity. But you can see on the back, that's what the tag looks like. Um, and they're so cute. I love the little P on the button. I think it's so cute and it's a little copper button. I love these pants. I think they are so cute. They're in perfect pristine condition. I love that the little pocket has kind of like a striped detail to it. I just think that's adorable. Um, you can see all the hardware on the pockets. Just a really well-made jean. And these are in pristine condition. It is a size 31. These are boot cut and I'm not normally a fan of getting boot cut jeans because I think people really are more looking for skinny jeans or like mom jeans, but these are in such good condition and I have never sold Pilcro before and I've always wanted to and um, I think I'm trying to be a little bit more adventurous with the types of things I'm trying because I watch a lot of YouTube videos from other resellers with more experience than me that say such and such is good, such and such is not, but I like trying things for myself and I would encourage you to do the same with being responsible. Um, I think I made responsible choices. There were definitely a lot of things I put back, but this is something that I wanted to give a try and I am really excited. I love these pants. These are actually, I try these on, these fit me perfectly. So if they don't do well, I can always keep them. That's always good. So the next pair I think are so cute and I love, love, love them. If they were my size, I would probably keep them. I need to stop saying that. I need to stop getting things <laughs> to keep them. I'm getting them to sell them. Um, but these are seven for all mankind, which is a great um, denim brand. These are the ankle skinny. Um, they're just like a medium wash denim jeans. My favorite part about them are the raw hem. They just have raw hem on both ankles. And I think that is so cute. I love that style. I want to get a pair like this for myself because I really love that style. And they're skinny jeans. They're really cute. They're in great shape. Um, so I think these will do really well. I think they're size 27. Okay, these might have been a mistake. Um, but I don't know, I still think they're really cute. They're American Eagle denim. Um, and I do like getting American Eagle denim when I can get it for a good price, especially if it's a current style. And I think these are so cute. They're um, black, kind of almost like um, acid wash, not really, but they, they have like some fading, I guess, and I think it's intentional. And then they just are super distressed, which I love. And I think those are still really in. So like all along the knees, all along the front, they're super distressed. And then there is some distressing on the back pockets as well. Um, the reason why I think this might've been a mistake, which I didn't notice before, is that this back patch is pretty cracked, which means these have been worn and washed a lot. And I hadn't noticed that right near the distressing there's a little bit of like pulling if you can see that next to where the distressed parts are and i don't think that's intentional i think that's from washing um i think it's okay because with distressed jeans 
the more you wash them, the more they're going to pull apart until they get to the point where they're just like completely open. And I think that is a style that people go for. And I will disclose in the listing about this, but that was just something I didn't really notice in the thrift store, which is why I said it might be a mistake. I still think these are super cute. I still think they're going to do well. Um, under the crotch is great. There's not, you know, it's not bad. And these are high rise. What are these? High rise jeggings size four. I'm very excited about these. So this is a pair of torrid jeans. There's the tag, torrid denim. They're a size 22. Torrid does vanity sizing, so I don't know what that equates to. Um, definitely a bigger plus size, but I love these because they're like a medium wash denim and they kind of have light wash detail. And then they have these like patches they're not actually patches. They're just part of the denim. They're just like a darker spot of denim, but I just think it's so cool that they intentionally um, sort of faded around these patches. I just think it gives the jeans a really cool look. They're more of a boot cut. I would say that these are probably not full length. I think they're probably slightly cropped. Um, I'll have to look up these style and figure that out. So these are a great example. These are 98% cotton, 2% spandex. That's great. That's a great composition for jeans. And you can tell that these jeans are in really good condition. The reason I got these is another, it's another brand that I have not sold yet, but I've heard a lot about. I've heard mixed things about it, but I am definitely excited to give it a try. And I, I really think those are cute. Okay, two more pairs of jeans. I told you I got lucky in the jeans department. Okay, so these I'm also excited about. Madewell denim It's always a win in my book. I did find another pair of Madewell jeans, probably donated by the same person because they were the same size, um, that were blue jeans, but those were the ones that kind of were starting to rip under the crotch. These are not. Um, these are just like a, like a washed black or gray color um and they're skinny jeans they are the 10 inch high rise or the nine inch the nine inch high rise skinny jeans size 26 um and you can see the patch is in great condition um always check the patch that can kind of indicate where which i didn't do for the american eagle jeans okay and then my most exciting find of the day which might not be as exciting as i think it is but i'm still excited designer jeans these are burberry you can see burberry brit um they have this like hardware on the back that says burberry brit and it says it on the button too these are so cute they have this like um detail on the seams on the inside that it kind of makes like an oval um, but it looks so cool. It gives a cool effect. I love that the hardware is, um, is gold and these are like, they're like a really dark blue. I think they come up almost black on camera, but I think they're really more of a blue. I'm going to have to get these under light and figure it out because they might be black. I actually don't know, but, um, they're just so cute. I looked these up because at first I was like, are these real? Um, am I being scammed by Goodwill? But I found this exact style on Poshmark. So these have sold for anywhere between like 60 and $70. And they're 77% cotton, 21% polyester. So these are more of a stretchy denim as well, but they're in excellent condition. So there's none of that weird pilling that I feel like a lot of page jeans have if you find them in the thrift store because they're the, they're that stretchy denim where they kind of get the like weird pulls. These don't have any of that. And they're a size um, 26. They're the Pilton. That's the name of this, the style name. So I'm really excited because I have not found Burberry ever. Obviously jeans are not what Burberry is known for. They're known for like that beautiful plaid color but I still do think that those will do well because they're designer jeans. Okay, so those are all the jeans I got. So this gorgeous beauty, it is a mini dress with long sleeves. It's Rebecca Taylor. 
there's the tag. If you haven't heard of Rebecca Taylor, she designs beautiful dresses. She has other stuff too, but I think dresses are her best performing category and kind of what she's known for. Um, this specific dress has never been listed on Poshmark, but a lot of its um, sisters, like by that I mean <laughs> things in this pattern that are either tops or um, skirts or pants have sold really well. Um, this dress retails for over $400. And when I saw it, I, it was like there, it was like placed for me because it wasn't in the dress section. It was like someone had it in their cart and then they decided they didn't want it and just randomly put it like by the jeans. And I saw it and I was like, oh my God, this is beautiful. It is, I think 53% silk. And then the skirt is lined. So underneath the skirt, there is um, black lining, but the top isn't lined, just the just under the bottom. I just think this is such a gorgeous dress. It has this smocked waist and it's just so flattering. And it has like a deep V, long sleeves with little buttons um, along the cuff. And it's just so pretty. I didn't notice this in the store. Um, and I looked this over so many times for flaws. I didn't notice this, but the bottom of the V, I don't know if you can tell, there's a little bit of stitching coming loose. I will definitely disclose that in the listing. I don't think that it will affect the price too much and someone with um, any ability to sew will be able to fix that really easily, but I didn't notice that, but I don't think it would have affected me purchasing this because it is such a gorgeous dress and I am so in love with it. It's a size two just so 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 pretty the next dress i got i think this kind of borders like this could be a dress or a top um like a long top it's j jill which is not a brand that i have ever picked up before or ever really sought out but i really like this piece because it is a linen um, it's just a really nice breathable perfect for summer but this could also be worn in the fall because it's definitely more of a fall color it's like this muted red and it has long sleeves um with kind of like the the sleeves i would say have a slight flare um, and it's just buttoned up it has the stand collar and it has um little slits along the side I could just see an artist wearing this. Like this just reminds me of something that you would wear to like your studio to create art. <laughs> I just feel like that it gives that vibe, which is why I say it could be worn as a dress. Certainly it's long enough, but it could also be worn as a top over like leggings or something. Um, and it is a size large. Next up, we have a dress by Theory, size small. Um, Theory, I have heard mixed things about. I have a couple of Theory pieces in my closet that have not yet sold, but I still wanted to go ahead and get this because it is such an expensive brand retail. And, you know, I think people do still seek it out on the resale market. This, just like that J. Jill top, is also a linen blend. It's linen, viscose, and elastane blend. So it does have a little bit of a stretch to it but it's just this really pretty kind of like washed black. Um, and it's just really simple. It has this like center seam detail. It has like a slight V-neck, short sleeves, slits on the side, really similar to that J. Jill piece in style, I would say. This is so pretty. I'm obsessed with this dress. It's Lulu's size large. I love selling Lulu's. I sold my first two Lulu's pieces last month. They sold within like a week of each other and they both sold for full asking price. It was so bizarre, um, but they sold really quickly. So I really do like selling Lulu's. This is an excellent condition. It's maroon, like this deep burgundy color, which is one of my favorite colors for fall. And it's like a body contrast, but it does have this wrap piece over it that makes it really flattering. It kind of like falls in the front. And it's just a little mini dress with a v-neck and then the last piece in the dress category it's not even a dress but i put it in the dress category it's a romper um it is from the brand splendid 
you guys can see that. It's a size extra large. And again, it's like the, that washed black color. Um, it's really cute. It's super flattering. It has the drawstring bands in the front with this kind of like um, silver hardware. Um, it's kind of tied up right now, but it has those drawstring bands. It's just sleeveless. It has this like overlay, kind of like lagging look style, and then the shorts on the bottom. It is so, so soft. It is a rayon tensile blend, which if you've ever felt anything that's tensile, like 100% tensile or tensile, I don't know how to say it, it's so soft. And this is like gorgeously soft. Um, Splendid. I have one other thing in my closet that is Splendid that hasn't sold yet, but it hasn't been listed for very long. Um, but I have heard that it doesn't resell very well, but it is a really expensive brand. And I just thought this romper was so cute. So I'm hoping that it will do well. I also think that extra large is a great size, especially for a romper like this. Okay, so I'm gonna start with my favorite top that I found, which is not even going to sell for very much. It just made me happy and I had to buy it. So this is the cutest thing I've ever seen. Come on, tell me this is not the cutest thing you've ever seen. It's Mickey and Minnie on vacation. There's glitter, it's sparkly, there's palm trees. Minnie is wearing the cutest yellow bikini and I just love it, it's so cute. It's so cozy. It's a size extra large from the Disney store. Um, 50% organic cotton, 50% polyester. I just love it. Really cool um, red color. Someone going on their next trip to Disney World is going to be obsessed with this shirt. Um, being sold for $5, but it was half off. So I paid $2.50 for it. And I just think it's precious. Most of the things I got at Salvation Army were half off. They were having a sale. Um, so it was half off blue and green tags and 99 cents for yellow tags. This was um, half price too, so I think I paid three dollars for it. And it is Adidas by Stella McCartney. I have sold one other piece from this brand and um, it sold pretty well. And I like this. I definitely think that if you're gonna buy something Adidas by Stella McCartney, the pieces that have like a big, like the big logo that says like Stella or Adidas or both will perform better but this does have on the one sleeve Adidas by Stella McCartney and it's just like a really simple workout top it's high low um, it has like this mesh kind of going along diagonally along half the top and then the other half is just like normal jersey material I just thought it was cute it's a really pretty coral color definitely more of a summer piece but um, this brand is expensive and so I like to pick it up when I find it. My mom does watch my videos. So hi mom, um, if you want this, let me know. <laughs> I kind of got it with you in mind, but it will also sell. It is Harry Potter and it's just this Gryffindor tee. It's like the burgundy Gryffindor colors with the um, gold text. And it's just like a really loose fitting, comfy tee, super, super soft. And like the Disney stuff, I think Harry Potter stuff will sell. This was marked as $2 and it was half off, so I paid a dollar for it. This I actually got for myself, but I'll show you guys anyway. It's just a workout top. It's just like gray with the kind of micro stripes. I like live in these, I wear them all the time. So I saw this one, it was like $2, so I picked it up. I can always use more. And then the last three tops that I got were all Nike things. Nike does really well for me. If you guys are sleeping on Nike, don't be because Nike sells and it sells quickly, um, especially if it's like a cooler style. So this I love, if this was my size, I would keep it for sure. Um, it's like my favorite color, which is purple. It has the Nike swoosh and it's just like a crew neck and it has um, these like stretchy panels on the arm and it has the little thumb hole which I love um, and it's just really simple but so cute it kind of has that like heathered look to it and it is the Nike running dry fit it is size small okay mom again 
I was thinking about giving this to you. If you want it, let me know. Um, because my mom has started golfing and this is a golf top. So it's Nike Golf. It is modern fit, dry fit, size medium. And this is like my mom's color. She loves blue, especially like this light blue. Um, and it has the really nice banded um, collar. And it's just more of a kind of like almost dressed up quarter zip because it has like the, it's just like really nice. I don't know how to explain it. It has really nice like cuffs um, around the bottom too. The sides have this really cool like, just like ribbing and texture. It's just a really, really, really nice, well-made quarter zip. It even says on the bottom, it says Nike Golf. I just think it's cool. Um, I think that this will definitely sell, but mother, you have first dibs on this. I think it's so cute and I could see you wearing it. Okay, the last Nike thing I got was another quarter zip and it's just this like forest green color with the pop of color on the quarter zip, the orange, which I think is so cool. And it's really nice, it's really soft and it again has that thumb hole which I love. Um, and this is another Nike Run dry fit size medium. I wear these all the time, so that's why when I see them, I always pick them up. And honestly, like they'll sell. Um, all right, so the first thing, the first sweater is like the most precious, legit, so cute. I considered keeping this, but I don't think I'm going to. It's Bowden, which I don't always buy Bowdoin. In fact, I had a Bowdoin linen dress in my cart that I put back because comps just didn't look good. Um, but this is so cute and it is so well made. It is 100% cotton on the outside and it just has these, it's gray with these big polka dots and these three oversized buttons in the front and a collar. It is so precious, you guys. It has pockets. It's like, um, kind of short it's not really cropped but it's like shorter I could see like like Mary Tyler Moore wearing this honestly my mom's gonna love that reference I'm talking about my mom a lot I miss you mom this is a size US 10 and it's just so pretty and so well made I just think it is so cute and it's lined on the inside but not in the sleeves so you get the cozy wool in the sleeves it was um, marked at $8, but it was half off, so I paid $4 for this. This was another fun find. I love animal print. Cheetah, this is cheetah print. Um, I just think it is so, so cute. It's a size extra small, it's loft. Now, I put up a poll on my Instagram story about this tag because I've never seen this tag before. Um, I didn't know if it was a brand new tag or if it's super old. People seem to think that it was super old. Leave a comment if you know, um, cause I really don't, but it is just like this cheetah print sweater, size extra small. Um, I really picked this up for style. I definitely don't pick up loft all the time, but um, I just thought that that's super on trend. Okay, and then this sweater, it's just so cute. It made me smile. It's Loosh, I think that's how you say it, Loosh size 10. It almost looks like a vintage tag, but I don't think it's a vintage sweater. I think that this is a mod cloth brand because some of the listings that I found on Poshmark had it under mod cloth, but I'm not sure. So let me know if you know, but it's just this sweater that is like color blocked with this like pretty teal color and a darker blue. And it has a little Dutch hound, Dachshund, Dosh hound, wiener dog. It has a wiener dog. And he is so cute with his little eyes and a little like polka dot. Oh, so freaking cute. And then on the back, it's just blue. It says size 10, but it might be kids. I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to look into this because it definitely looks small to me. So second to last sweater. This is Banana Republic, but it's with this Italian yarn says with fine Italian yarn by Phil Pucci, which is an Italian brand. And um, when I looked up the, when I looked at the materials tag, which if you're not in the habit of doing that yet, please get into the habit of doing that, especially if you think something feels nicely made. 
um, because that can help you determine value. This is 45% merino extra fine wool, 25% rayon, 20% nylon, and 10% cashmere. So a really beautiful blend. Um, and it is in really excellent shape. It definitely needs a shave. And I like it has some things I need to just pull off, like fuzzies I need to pull off of it. Um, but it is in excellent condition. And I checked this a thousand times for holes because with wool, you really want to check for holes. But I didn't find any. The, my favorite thing about this is that it's really simple seeming. Like it's just a navy blue sweater. But it has these really cute... Um, flared out sleeves and then you can tie this band however you want to. So you can have it hanging down or you can have it tied into a bow. Um, I just think it's so cute. It's a size small. Yeah, I actually got this for 99 cents. This was, um, yellow tag was 99 cents and this was a yellow tag. So that was an excellent find. I don't know if I would have paid full price for that, but because it was only 99 cents and it is so well made, I decided to go for it. I just realized my phone stopped recording, so I have to redo something. That's okay. We have to get moving though, because my phone's about to die. So this piece it is Sundance, and it is 53% linen, 47% cotton. I have been on the lookout for this brand, but I have never found it. I was so excited to find this piece. It is so unique. It has this contrasting crochet. The whole thing is knit, um, but the sleeves have this beautiful contrasting, like crochet on the top and it's just like so 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 pretty perfect for summer um so I'm definitely gonna get this listed ASAP but it also has the belt the original belt that it came with um which not always is found at the thrift store so you can just like tie the belt in the front I did find the stock photo for this it is so so cute I did pay full price for this I think it was worth it because this is such a unique piece I did get two belts and then we're going to move on to shoes and then that's it. So the first one is this, such a fun belt, right? It's like this teal blue color and it is snakeskin. It's real snakeskin that this is genuine snakeskin. And then the inside is genuine leather and it has all of these like studs along the whole um, belt and the silver belt buckle. It has its original tag on it and it is $55 retail. It also still has this little chain that says DKNY. So I think that um, it's never been worn. And I think I can sell this for $30, $35. And then this one is Lucky Brand. Love this belt, obsessed with it. It's just like this leather and it has these little braided leather details just like so unique and it has this huge belt buckle this huge gold belt buckle with all these little details around it it's just such a such a cool belt size medium and I've heard that lucky brand belts do really well I think I should be able to sell that one for 25 to 30 as well okay my favorite part shoes we gotta move fast because my phone's dying and I'm having an allergy attack from all of this stuff so by the way, guys, masks have been a game changer for me in the thrift store. Before this, I would have allergy attacks in the thrift store all the time because of like the must and dust. And now with the mask, I don't. Like, I think I might wear masks to the thrift store forever, honestly. We'll see. This first pair is Franco Sardo, which I have found Franco Sardo in the thrift store many times and I almost never get it or never have gotten it because I always check comps and they're just not great for that specific style, but this style does really well. It is this gorgeous deep chocolate brown color. Um, you can see, where's the other shoe? You can see from the soles, it was $12. I haven't scrubbed any of these um, yet. I really like how this has like, it's leather, all like the whole boot is leather but it does have this like calf patch which i think is really helpful it helps um riding boots fit different like people that have maybe have wider calves this is the cypher boot um and it's in excellent condition um it's maybe there's maybe like a little crease here from wear but overall really like perfect condition and it is a size eight and a half next up these are the ones I might keep, you guys. 
a lot of these are my size and these I am obsessed with. So these are Calvin Klein. Look at this gorgeous boot. I swear this has never been worn. There is not, I mean, I guess like maybe a sign of wear on the toe, maybe, but like gorgeous, perfect condition. And again, love how this has the leather on the outside, but the back has this like stretch to it. It's almost like scuba material, which is really cool. And my favorite part is this heel. It says Calvin Klein in the gold hardware, um, but it is just, oh, I love this shoe. This is the Frida boot and it is size eight and a half as well. I typically wear an eight, but for shoes like this, where the toe is pointed, I'll usually size up uh, half size. So these fit me like a glove. Okay, I have to do this pair next because they're the twin to the previous pair. Don't they look basically the same? They're not even the same brand. This is Nine West, but again, just completely unworn, I think. There's no signs of wear. These are another eight and a half. So these were probably donated by the same person. And both of these are kind of like, um, the color for the Calvin Klein ones was called coffee. Um, they were like a really deep brown, but almost have like a slight red tint to it, which I love. It's almost like a mahogany color. This one again has that little bit of gold hardware on the bottom, which I think is so pretty and unique. And these are the Levi boots. And again, they're leather. This one is a little more worn. This one's definitely been worn, but still in really excellent condition. These are Sam Edelman's. You can see on the bottom. Again, all the prices are still on here, so you can see what I paid for these. But these are the Sam Edelman, and they are a size six. These are the Penny boot. These boots, definitely have been reselling really well. One detail that I really like about them is that after you zip it up on the back, you can like clip this little thing. I think that's so cute. Just gorgeous, I love this color. These are Ralph Lauren, Lauren by Ralph Lauren. And these have, still have the original like, um, I don't know, I don't know what that is, but it's like part of the tag. I'm definitely not gonna put new with tags, but. I don't know why you would wear that <laughs> on the shoe, but these are the Mary boots. Again, they're leather, gorgeous black boot. And again, just impeccable condition. So, and these are a size six and a half. I think I said that. Yeah. Love these as well. All of these boots I'm expecting to sell for anywhere between 50 to a hundred dollars. Um, some of them retailed for over $200. So definitely really excited about those finds. And then the last find that I'm also very excited about are these Sorel, um, like snow boots. They are so cute. They have that little Sorel logo, kind of the lace up. Um, these are in excellent condition too and like the fur is still really in good condition. You know, when these kinds of shoes have been worn a lot and the fur gets like matted down, this fur is still like beautiful. These are the Snowbird. That's the style name, size 10. Um, the only flaw with these is that on the back, the Sorel label came off of this one and it's like half off of this one, but I don't think that will affect resale value. I saw a pair of these that sold for $75 that didn't have these either. I guess these come off pretty easily, especially when you're like hiking in them. So I still think that these are a great find. Whew, I feel like I just ran a marathon. That was a lot of stuff. Thank you so much if you stuck through to the end. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, leave me a comment. I would love to get to know you and um, answer one of the thousands of questions that I asked throughout this video. Um, so yeah, have a great week, you guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.